What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the GTA 6 tutorial series and in this episode we will make that when we deal damage to civilians we will basically increase the wanted level and also alert nearby policemen. It's going to be a very easy video to follow so let's get started. Alright, so in the previous episode, we made that we have this wanted system at the top right of the screen. And as you can see, I just updated it and we have now three stars, for example. So now we need to basically make sure that this will increase when you start to shoot civilians or similar, right? So first of all, let's go ahead and go to the world settings, search for our game mode and open this up. And right now we have this kind of a test in the begin play where I wait three seconds and update this. I'm going to basically delete the delay, unconnect this and now you know, when I press play, it will not be, you know, updating because it was just a test, right? Now, we essentially need to do this whenever we go ahead and, of course, um, you know, uh, deal damage. Now, first of all, we need to actually update this with actual uh, variables, right? Right now, if we go into the UI and open up WB Wanted, as you can see, this is basically updating like we did in the previous episode, only until three stars. We need to do it to whatever value is set on here. So for this, we're going to be adding an input in the interface. So let's go to blueprints and then go ahead and open up our BPI game mode. Let's just select this, add an input. Okay. And this input will essentially be something as wanted level. Okay. Then we can set this as an integer, compile, save, close. And now here we have this value, which I can now take and replace over here. And now with that said, in here I can simply specify what want the level we want, which in this case of course would be uh, this variable over here. So I'm going to go ahead and just move this, okay, into here. So when we increase the active theme, we will also update the UI. And on top of that, of course, assign this variable. So now, okay, this will mean that when I go ahead and press play, first of all, nothing will happen. But then, for example, if I connect this, you know, after I small delay of 0.2 seconds right imagine it will be one star as you can see so that's working we can delete that there we go so now the only thing we need to do is increase this right calling this custom event whenever we deal damage so for this we're gonna go into the player blueprint and now we need to go into the firing state which is around here so in here we can see that we have the lines raised by channel and if we hit something we apply damage well in that instance we're going to go ahead and just do an extra thing, which is to get the game mode. Okay, cast to our game mode class, which is this one. And then go ahead and just call that custom event, which is the what increase want the level. There we go. And with that said, when we start to shoot, um, you know, civilians, we will basically go ahead and do this. So I press Q, start to shoot them. As you can see, it increases slowly to five stars. Now, of course, I don't want this directly, <laughs> you know, to go to five stars, but we'll do that in uh, in some moments a bit later. Now, we need to make sure that some policemen will be alerted, right? But that is indeed working, right? I don't think it's going out uh, looking good. So what I need to do is essentially go to the game mode. And on here, we're going to do a custom event in the player, okay? Which gonna go into the player do a new custom event and this is something as alert and nearby police okay and on here what I want to do is simply do a sphere trace for objects so this one and then the start position will be the get actor location because it will be the current location of this and then the end will be the same because it will be a sphere. And then for the radius is how far away. Let's do something as 3,500 just for now, okay? And then when I say for duration is to preview this and then make an array on object types and we want to find pawns as our police AI blueprints are essentially pawns. With that said, when we detect them, okay, we simply just want to break the hit result, okay? And just go ahead and alert them. So we will need to do right now a uh, uh, calculation right well in the calculation i uh, check if they are a policeman or not so there are many ways that we can go in this now i believe that we don't have any yes do we have a, a thing for the for the policeman ai which is this right and if we go to the policeman ai which i think that is 
um what is it open this up please uh, we do have this interface great so the only thing we need to do is add a new interface function okay and this will be something as alert alert nearby or something like that right that's it we will not put any input i think well yeah we will not need any input for now okay we are simply gonna go into the police that will click on alert nearby and for now let's just put print so we know that is working okay that's done on this police side now back on our player we simply need to get the hit actor we need to check if this actor is a policeman we can do this by checking if it does have this uh, policeman interface and if it does have this interface we simply just need to do the alert nearby and boom that's pretty much it okay so now we are basically doing this now of course we need to also do this when we increase the wanted level so what i'm going to do is go to the where is it, to the um, uh, game mode and here i'm gonna go directly and call the alert nearby police not the blueprint interface it has to be the alert nearby police call function right? because of the event that we created make sure that's done okay cool so now when i go ahead and start to shoot Policeman, we should see a, a, a print message. There we go. So you can see there's a print message over there. So this means that now we need to alert the AI. Now, for now, for the AI, okay, if I enter in AI police, we can see that for the police AI, we have this over in the AI controller, right? In, in the sense of going ahead and um, setting these values to boo and all this stuff. So I'm going to create a new custom event over here, and this will be something as just um chase player or you know yeah something like that right chase player and i'm gonna just go ahead and plug this into here and we will directly go and change the player so we're gonna go now into the police ai and on here instead of doing this we're gonna get the ai controller class that it has we're gonna cast to that one which is bp ai police uh this one yeah okay make sure that's the same and then we simply want to call this new custom event which is uh, chase player okay controlled actor will be self right as is this uh, policeman itself so now if our ai is not seeing us which will be a bit hard okay we should see that when we shoot some people the ai should there we go he's coming to us uh, to chase right i mean it's walking very slowly he should go a bit faster but you get the idea now let me see uh try to get him looking at another place all right it seems like his um vision is very it's very um it's too too far away but if i shoot you can see that i should alert him okay actually that I think okay, okay i think he got alerted when um he saw me not necessarily uh when you know the, the wanted was was applied right so the thing is that the connection between the ai controller and um the blueprint itself is a bit complicated okay it requires some some tricky stuff honestly um so let's see so in the bb player we're triggering the AI controller casting and, and doing this thing right um and, and we have this so i'm gonna just add a print over here and we will see that probably this will not play okay we have one star oh but he's outside of the radius wait oh yeah as you can see we printed hello twice so that that is working but he's not following the player why will i just realize actually that the object type being found is the one passed over here so we're gonna be making a little check over here okay and then just drag in here double point here and do an is valid okay so if it's valid that means that it does have this over here actually we could do also a select um over here and actually we're gonna do this so instead of doing this note of is valid we're gonna do a select okay and um, basically, you just need the is valid note, which is this one over here. Oh, not this one, but uh, this top one, okay? 
and this will return a boolean so if this is true that means that we want to get this one okay into the uh what target now object type okay now if this is false that means that we want to get the get player character on a level because that's the player okay so if we go through this through the AI perception this is true so we get the AI perception if it's false we simply get the player character because that's someone causing the the trouble so if i now shoot this there we go hello but he did not <laughs> okay um i think that wait oh there's a bit of a freeze moment over there let me try this again So we need to wait until we say hello. There we go. So we say hello to the prince, but he still doesn't go. Why? I think that the problem is not if it's valid. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I did not connect this. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay. I don't know how I forget about that. Okay. Uh, let's write that the AI will not see me at first. Okay. Get near. Shoot. There we go. He turns around and now is coming for me, which is really cool. And really, we should now increase the speed and play some music, but that will be already for the next few episodes. Now, the thing that I was saying is about, uh, you know, when we shoot an AI a couple of times, we directly go into five stars, right? And maybe we don't want to go directly into five stars, which is the thing that we need to control. So we are actually going to go ahead and also do this in the next few episodes. OK, but I just wanted to mention that. Yeah, we will not do it in this one. We'll do it in the next few episodes, okay? With that said, guys, if you found this tutorial helpful, I would really appreciate it. You could like the video and subscribe to my channel. Um, you have the profiles available in my Patreon and YouTube members, so check them out. Link in the description. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials. And now, yes, with all I said, bye-bye.